heart attack happens when there is a sudden loss of blood flow to part of your heart muscle. This is usually caused by coronary heart disease, where the arteries that supply blood to your heart become narrowed by a gradual buildup of fatty material. If a piece of the fatty buildup then breaks off, it can cause a blood clot to form, blocking your artery. Rita was having lunch with a friend when she felt a discomfort in her chest. At first, she dismissed it as indigestion. However, it was more severe than usual. The discomfort then spread to her back and jaw, and she started feeling nauseous. Some people won't experience chest pain, but feel pain in their neck, stomach, or arms. They may also feel lightheaded and sweaty. Rita's pain didn't go away, so her friend called for an ambulance. Once the paramedics arrived, they performed an electrocardiogram, ECG, confirming that her symptoms were due to a heart attack. Rita had believed a heart attack would cause her to collapse, but this is not always the case. A heart attack will only cause someone to lose consciousness if it is severe enough to cause a cardiac arrest, which is when your heart stops pumping blood around your body. If her heart attack had been left untreated, part of Rita's heart muscle would have been starved of blood and oxygen, leading to permanent damage. This could also lead to her developing other conditions, such as heart failure. To prevent this, Rita was taken for an emergency procedure to reopen the blocked coronary artery by inserting stents. This is called a primary angioplasty. Rita was allowed home after a few days. Despite the procedure, her coronary heart disease means she is still at risk of having another heart attack. But there are things Rita can do to significantly reduce the likelihood of this, such as taking her prescribed heart medications and making some lifestyle changes, like quitting smoking, cutting down on alcohol, maintaining a healthy diet, lowering her cholesterol and staying active. Her doctor also recommended she attend a cardiac rehabilitation program. This helps Rita regain her strength, learn more about lifestyle changes, and gives Rita emotional support, helping her get back to as full a life as possible. Thanks to receiving treatment quickly, taking her medication, and making lifestyle changes, Rita felt confident in managing her condition and could continue enjoying life. For more information on heart attacks, visit bhf.org.uk forward slash heart attack. BHF. Beat heartbreak forever.